In the last movie, you adjusted the skinning on the left leg, under the hip area. In order not to waste time, it would make sense if you could transfer that skin information from the left leg to the right leg. Skin mirror tools allow you to do just that, but they work best when the character is symmetrical. The legs and upper body are symmetrical, but the hips and belly areas are not, due to the shirt sticking out of the pants. A useful approach in such a case is to use a temporary symmetrical mesh to work the skinning. Not only would it simplify skin mirror functions, but it will also make vertex loop and ring selections easier. At this point, the geometry is such that a loop selection would not go around the belt area, for example. Once the proxy mesh is skinned properly, you can transfer back skin data using the skin wrap modifier. Make sure the zombie mesh is selected and that you're not in any type of sub-object mode. Make a copy of the object and name it Zombie Proxy. Press H and select the original zombie mesh object from the list. Remove the skin modifier from the stack and hide the mesh. Select the proxy mesh again and go down the stack to the editable poly level. Add a symmetry modifier between editable poly and skin. The mesh is now symmetrical. Set the symmetry threshold to zero. The character is perfectly symmetrical and centered to the world, so all middle vertices separating left and right side will weld properly. Right click the symmetry modifier and choose Collapse 2. Click Yes to dismiss the warning. Now that the character is symmetrical, you can use skin mirror tools. At this point, it is clear that the right leg needs work as you test it out between frames 360 and 440. Go back to frame 0 and enter Edit Envelopes mode. Select the leg bone and then its opposite and notice that their effect on neighboring vertices are different. Enable mirror mode. The vertices on the mesh become color-coded, although they may be a little hard to see. Blue vertices represent the model's left side, green vertices its right side, and red vertices are sitting on the mirror plane. By default, the mirror plane goes through the object's pivot point. This is again an indication of how important the initial setup of the mesh was, as seen at the very beginning of this tutorial. There are five mirror tool icons to consider. The second and third icons relate to mirroring envelope data. Since you're not working with envelopes, you don't need to worry about those. The first icon enables you to mirror paste a selection of vertices. With this, you can select one or more vertices that you have already adjusted and use the mirror paste tool to transfer that data to the other side. The last two icons enable you to mirror paste all vertex data from one side to another. In this case, click the Paste Blue to Green verse to transfer all skinning data from left to right. Exit Mirror Mode. Notice how the problems you had earlier between frames 360 and 440 are now gone. Enable Envelope Mode again and go to frame 0. Select a few opposite bones and notice how the vertex color codes now seem identical on the left and right sides. Exit Edit Envelopes one more time and save your file. In the next movie, you adjust the hips area.